I'm going to quickly walk you through the ERG Video 3 threshold test video. It's fairly simple, just like any other ERG video, you select it from the library, threshold test, and here you get a first time pop-up that uh, indicates the differences between ERG Video 3 and ERG Video 2 uh, threshold testing. It tells you that you can change your warm-up uh, under this version, but recommends that you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't change the warm-up between tests because it will affect ultimately uh, your test result. So you should always do the same warm-up, whichever one you choose. You can also choose to do a 20-minute or 60-minute test following your warm-up. And you can calibrate any time during the test and during the warm-up uh, in particular. So you can dismiss the box. Make sure you have riders assigned to your trainers. I have, a, I have uh, myself on the Velotron and someone else here on... Um, CompuTrainer, and just hit Let's Ride, and that will configure the warm-up phase of the threshold test. As always, this is an ERG mode uh, warm-up, and we see uh, a dialogue that pops up here, one time only, that talks about the calibration procedure for the CompuTrainer. You'll notice in the heads-up display below, under the load, the CompuTrainer is showing a red background. That's here. When the background is red, it indicates that the CompuTrainer has not been calibrated since it's been powered on. The dialog gives instructions on how to calibrate, and it's fairly simple. Press F3 anytime to start the calibration procedure, and this background will turn green. Do the usual spin up to 25 miles per hour, and coast down until the handlebar controller displays a new um, rolling calibration number. Press F3 to accept the calibration, and the background will go clear and match the background of the heads-up display. And then you're calibrated. So I'll just demonstrate, well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll start the warm-up using the play button, or one of the handlebar controller buttons on bike number one will do as well. Now, as you do the warm-up, it, it is in ERG mode, and as with every ERG mode uh, workout, at the 12 minute mark, you'll be advised to recalibrate. Now, I'm not going to make this video go for 12 minutes. I'll just uh, I'll do the calibration right away and uh, just lead you through it. So I'm going to press F3 on the CompuTrainer's handlebar controller. And then you can see the background goes green to indicate I'm in calibration mode. Now I'm going to do the spin down very quickly. And once the handlebar controller shows a new RRC number, I can press F3, and the green background goes away, and it matches the back background of the heads-up display, and now I've been calibrated. Now, of course, that was a calibration that was performed with a fairly cold tire, so you should wait for the 12 minutes to expire. Uh, wait until the message uh, appears on the video display here and execute another calibration at that point. Um, the more often you calibrate, the more accurate your testing will be. And uh, you can check some of my uh, documents online regarding what calibration number and uh, what the calibration number means and which ones you should um, look for. Certainly above two is necessary to avoid slippage of, of the wheel but it doesn't really matter if you do one test at calibration 2 and another test at calibration 2.5. The point is, the tire should be up to temperature, it should be very warm, and you should do the calibration at that point. The CompuTrainer uses the new RRC number to be accurate whether you're at 2.5 or 2.0. So, um, normally you would you would finish this warm-up, and I'm going to just show you how to shorten the warm-up um, <laughs> manually, and just so that we can jump, we can jump to the test phase of the workout. So just to reiterate, you do this whole warm-up. The uh, the video will stop, and uh, it will move straight to the testing phase. But I can speed that up by just pressing the stop button, and what I'll get 
is a summary of my data for the warm-up. It's here, so I'm going to dis dismiss that. And now you'll see new buttons appear below the audio player and the play button. So you have a choice of a one-hour test, 20-minute test, or a two-minute demo. I'm going to pick the 20-minute test. Click it, and just wait patiently for that test to set up. And you're going to see a new uh, heads-up display and no profile. You're just getting a constant grade at 2% for everybody in the studio. And whenever you're ready, press the play button. And now you're running in um, you're running in grade mode, and you're executing your test. During a power test, I like to show RPM. I like to look at average power. Some people like to look at heart rate if you have a heart rate monitor. Uh, you can also look at your average watts per kilogram. If you have a watts per kilogram target, then you can see it happening there. And I like to see the kilojoule uh, display here. Some of the other statistics don't really have m much bearing on your um, test result unless you want to look at some sort of average power. If you have a Velotron, it's nice to show the Velotron gear so that when you go through gear changes, um, certainly gear matters in, in this part of the threshold test. You may want to watch uh, your gear changes there. Okay, so this will go for 20 minutes or one hour, depending on how long you've, uh, you've configured it to be. And at the end, it'll automatically stop and give you your, your results. I can speed that up here by pressing the stop button for this demo. And you'll automatically get your, your data here. Of course, it's all zero because I didn't pedal any bikes. So, um, and that concludes how to do the ERG video threshold test.